on my YouTube channel today, I will be talking about this article. A Melbourneian asked Jack GPT to design Miss Universe style costumes for Melbourne suburb with interesting results. So they used Jet um, GPT um, DALI 2 program, that image generating software tool that generates images by typing in a bunch of words. So therefore, these are um, another similar program like Mid Journey. So these are the um, pictures that Jerome dreamt up with at the moment. So these are really cool in images that um, an AI have produced. I mean, I have to say, they're really impressive. Okay, now let's go on to the article. Generative AI tools have only been around for a few years. Already, millions and millions of words have been published about the technology's ethics, opportunities, pitfalls, biases, limitations, and so on. Everyone, whenever they're a journalist, author, or anonymous Twitter user, seems to have taken of varying heat. Uh, one thing certain, though, the future is filled with white noises. We're at a precise of an era where everyone, regardless of time, wealth, knowledge, or talent, can generate a lifetime's worth of artistic work in perhaps a few weeks. The forthcoming flood of information, most of it's bland and unremarkable, will be staggering, making Spotify, Netflix and YouTube present-day library look tiny in comparison. Still, we have to hope among all the static original ideas will come to sh continue to shine, though, through, um, like this post on Reddit last week, for example, where a Melbourneian um, uses two AI tools to create surprisingly beautiful Miss Universe style portraits themed as Melbourne suburbs. We like them so much that so we get in touch with their creator and ask him to generate um, eight extra suburb portraits exclusively for Broadsheet. The man, um, Grayson, didn't want his surname or other identifying details published, but we know he's a 35-year-old research assistant who lived all around, all, all over Melbourne and currently runs in the CBD. Here's what he had to say about his Miss Melbourne project, including why the images so often fall into unsubtle stereotypes. Reoccurring problem when it comes to generative AI. How long have you been making um, images using AI? I dab um, in a few AI um, art genres last year, including Dali, but it was um, only in March this year when I began paying serious attention to them, as it has become all too apparent that their capabilities have advanced significantly. I find AI art impossible to ignore now, and the process involved in generating images can feel addictive. Okay, let's have a look at his um, images published on Reddit. Okay. Okay, that's using Mid Journey. Mm hmm. Oh, they're just some of the comments. Uh, let's see what he had published. Uh, okay, this is just all this. Uh, okay, this is just all nonsense. Anyway, I'll get back to the article. How long um, did you get into it? I've long been interested in art and art history, and it's clear now, I. I is now ushering a new artistic paradigm. Millions of people are using to generate countless staggering images on the fly and given how quickly things are advancing. Uh, it's exciting and it's kind of scary to think about what AI will be capable of in a few years from now. For people who don't understand how chat GBT and mid journey work, how it does the computer come up with details like each other ethnicity, the colors of the dress, motifs, and so on? I don't know how for sure how ChatGPT comes up with a certain details, but since it has been trained on large swatch of the internet, including sites like Wikipedia, the census data, it must be glued into demographics and any um, associated traits and stereotypes. Naked ones. Chat GBT avoids as it programmers have implemented a content moderation tool to prevent anything hateful to be a ra sexist, racist, and so on. When it comes to 
uh, the suburbs, ChatGPT news glowing and inclusive terms. And yet, despite the efforts of its programmers, it did, on the odd occasion, come up with, so, with details that somewhat deemed problematic, such as dumpling shaped pockets for box heel costume. Mid Journey failed to generate these pockets for some reasons. Okay. How did you come up with this particular idea? Are there any interesting projects you've worked on? I spent hours exploring online communities devoted to um, AI art and have um, been impressed by many of the themes and concept people have come up with. With one, um, I mean, with one such concept, I remember seeing concern European stereotype. In hindsight, is was probably the genesis of the Miss Universe costume. Something else I've tried in Mid Journey, and I mean, it's reconstructing events from the lives of famous historic people, events that may never have been documented in a visual medium and that are now considered mysterious and unsolved. If there are surviving portraits of the person, I combine them in mid journey, which can then um, create a shrink, strikingly believable, fairistic um, average of their features. Um, a part of me has fun um, believing that in some of Mid Journey's um, reconstructed events, there might be clues as what really went down. Tell me about the process in details, from putting a prompt into ChatGBT to finding at the final image and deciding whether it's good enough to keep. How many images do you reject and for what reason? I began asking ChatGBT to design Miss Universe style costume, but for Melbourne suburbs. The costume had, had to convey the character and the cultural identity of a given suburb in a creative, glitzy, extravagant and even um, humorous way. I also instructed ChatGBT to be concise and to tell its answers as the prompts for an AI gener art generator. These prompts I then copy paste into Midjourney. Some of these I worked off the bat and uh, Mitt Jones was able to interpret them easily and coherently. With um, other prompts it struggled and I had um, ChatGPT condense and simplify these. Mitt Jones still struggled sometimes with certain details and I had to regenerate its output up to 10 times to get a satisfactory result. One example being Miss Heidelberg as Mitt Jones had a hard time creating realistic paintbrushes. What's your favorite image, images from this set? Why? I have um, lived in and often visit Brunswick. When ChatGPT come up with Miss Brunswick Avoca hat, I knew I was into some onto some potential gold. It turned uh, Mid Journey cannot easily convert the Avoca into a fashion accessory. It's first um, a few attempts to look like a mutant radiant blob. Seeing the final image materials was very um, graphifying. I dare say it's perfect. Well, anyway, folks, what do you reckon about uh, Mid Journey's um, results of creating costumes for Melbourne suburbs? Let your thoughts know in the comment section. Anyway, I'll give you the link um, to check this imagery out for this article. Anyway, have a good day.